Okay, this is going to be a little tutorial on how to create a study of the split complement um, using CMYK in Photoshop and uh, how to create the chromatic transparency. So this is a study very similar to what we did in paint. Uh, we're going to use three overlapping circles with good amounts of overlap. Uh, this one is uh, the uh, split complement of a red violet, so it's red violet, yellow, and green. So I'm going to construct that for you. Okay, so let's uh, go File New, and then let's make the size eight inches by eight inches. 300 resolution CMYK and we'll leave the background white go okay all right uh, let's make sure that when you do this you have your uh, color checked and your layers checked and you can see here they are right here all right so the first thing we need to do is make some circles so I go to the ellipse tool which may be hiding behind the rectangle tool or polygon tool um, just click anywhere and you'll get a dialog box so let's make the width uh, five inches and the height five inches and that's going to give us a circle that's five inches okay so it brought in whatever i had last which was a gray um, that's okay i'm going to change it to yellow so uh, i can go to my swatches and you know there's a pure yellow right there so that ends up being in the palette so I'll take the bucket tool now you'll see this little sign it'll ask me to rasterize and we'll say okay now I can put the yellow in the tool okay so I need three circles I'll hit the option key and then uh, with the selection tool hit the option key and then drag and let up and then hit the option key again and now I've got three circles let me pull this down here so you can see this. So there I've created three layers. Okay, so uh, on this layer, uh, I'm going to leave that yellow, but uh, I'm going to turn this to my magenta, all right? So what I need to do is go to the eyedropper. This looks like uh, not magenta, but red violet. I click on that. Um, let me open up my color mixing guide and I'm going to double check to make sure that it's the correct. So red violet is 50% cyan and 100% uh, magenta. And then if I click on this, indeed it's 50% cyan and 100% magenta. So that's okay. That's the right color. Um, Okay, so I need to, with the bucket tool, there it is. All right, so now this one I want it to be green. So I got to be on that layer. And then I'll take this, the eyedropper, and this looks like my green. And it's in the bucket tool. And there we go. All right, so I've got <coughs> the green, the yellow, and the red violet. All right. Now, uh, one of the things I'm going to need to do to make this work is temporarily I'm going to have to turn this into being uh, transparent. So remember, we're doing apparent transparency, not actual transparency. But in reality, to make this work, we do have to make these transparent. So on this selected layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the opacity down to about 50%. Okay, and then I'm going to go to this layer and I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, that's good. I'm doing that because I need to be able to have enough contrast where I'll be able to come back and select these uh, with the bucket tool. So what I need to do now is need to flatten this. So I'm going to go layer flatten image you can see there it is flattens it okay so now I'm going to make a new uh, 
background copy and I can work on this. So now what I want to do is go back and bring these back into their original saturations. Okay, so uh, I've got the green in here. So uh, I've changed the tolerance for the bucket tool to 15. If it's bigger than that, it might start merging into the uh, other colors. So there we go. And then um, I need to change the red violet back to its original saturation. There it is right there. Now it's in the palette. Go to the bucket tool. There we go. All right. Now what I might want to do is, you know, this is not bad, uh, but I right now this is sort of dominated by the green, and there's nothing wrong with that. But let's say I wanted this to be dominated by the red. The other thing is I really would like to get a bigger range of value in here. So um, I could lighten the yellow and I could darken the uh, red violet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I will select the yellow, uh, go to color, and now here I am at my sliders. All right. Uh, I think what I'm going to do to uh, lighten the yellow is that I'm actually going to have to, because it's right now it's very, very bright. So I'm going to decrease the saturation, and I'm basically adding a little bit of white to it. So now it's uh, lightened it, and go to the bucket tool, and that lightens it a little bit. All right. Let me select the magenta, okay, and you can see the sliders now change. Um, I'm going to uh, darken it, but I just want to add some black to it. So let me go to my CMYK slider, and let me just add some black. I don't want too much. Um, and it's in the bucket tool. There we go. So now I've got a pretty good range of value. I've got a dark red violet that's a shade. I've got a tint of the yellow, and I've got the green at its most saturated. So I just need to adjust uh, these to uh, kind of coordinate with the darkness I hit. So these guys need to go darker now. So let me select this one. All right. So I could, you know, add some black to it. Um, but maybe another option would go to be to go to my HSB slider and just make it darker. And go to the bucket tool. That looks pretty good. That maybe is a little bit too dark. I mean, so, you know, this is where you're going to use your eye and make a judgment, all right? Uh, now, let's look at this one right here. So, I'm kind of, not only is it darker, but I'm dominating it by the red, all right? So, let me select this color. So, if you look at this, uh, in CMYK, I'll tell you what it's made up of. And um, there's not a lot of magenta in it, right? So let's increase the magenta. And now go to the bucket tool. Now it's, that's looking a little bit better. It's a little more dominated by uh, the red. So we just need to adjust this one. And now we see that uh, this needs a little bit more magenta, too. Okay. This may be a little uh, too neutral, thinking about the red magenta and that uh, together. It would make a relatively neutral color. It probably still needs a little more magenta. Let's see what that does. Okay, that looks better. All right, well, you get the basic idea. I could keep playing around with this. We need to come up with a background color. And like I said, uh, something rather neutral is the best way to go. So I'm just going to play it safe, and I'll take this uh, middle neutral color. All right, and... Um, what I think I'm going to do is go to the HSB. I don't want it as dark as it is, so I'm going to lighten it up. And now that's in the bucket tool. 
oh, it looks awfully green in there, so maybe I want to desaturate it a little bit. There we go. That's pretty good. So, uh, like I said, this you could keep playing around with this, but that's the basic idea.